Hello and welcome to the Extraordinary Variety Channel. Um, I just uh, wanted to discuss um, some things that, that have been on my mind recently. Usually on the video and channel I like to do things that are humorous, funny, and you know try to make it a true variety channel. But uh, a true variety channel does have things that maybe not uh, received so well. Uh, I want to talk about quality of life. I want to talk about COVID-19 and, and some things that are going on right now on the planet. I've always been told, and we all know this to be true, that death has a 100% success rate, okay? So everybody watching this video will die one day. Oh, what a wonderful thing to say. But we know this to be true. Number two, uh, let's use the number 100 again. 100 years from now, everyone watching this video will be dead, okay? So now this all boils down to how do we want to live our lives, okay? We know life is not eternal. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We know life physical life is not eternal so how do we want to live life okay the other day I was watching YouTube and it popped up where um, uh, two NBA players were uh, uh, on opposing teams at the end of the game maybe they were uh, friends from the outside maybe they went to college together they went to go hug each other and uh, they were stopped by security this is the new normal we're living in okay we're living in a new normal where people are uh, the people with two masks on are more righteous than the people with one mask the people who are going down the aisles following the arrows are more righteous than the other people listen here's the bottom line Hebrews 9 tells us that it is appointed on the men once to die and after this the judgment okay you could get your vaccine you're going to die you could wear your mask you're going to die okay we all have an appointment with death. This is according to the scriptures. In fact, in James 4, it goes on to say, tomorrow isn't even promised to us. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but tomorrow is not even promised to us. You could drive tonight to Walmart and get hit by a car. For all you know, for all I know, I have um, leukemia in my system right now. I, I, I don't know. I could have cancer of some sort as we speak. Tomorrow is not promised to us, okay? But when I find out that there's a 15-year-old boy in the United States who was a popular football player who committed suicide because he's been in isolation or let's call it house arrest for the last 11 months this is a problem okay when my mother is in a nursing home and her quality of life is so terrible that I get 15 calls a day of her crying and moaning because she's been locked up incarcerated this is a problem okay businesses are shutting down substance abuse is up mental mental health issues are going through the roof children are being like I said they're under house arrest okay so the bottom line is is this we're all gonna die someday I'm not saying being flippant about life and go rustle a grizzly bear or go jump out of a plane without without a, a parachute but I'm saying enjoy the quality of life you have okay just take it for example like my mother I bet you she would rather five months on this planet with family and loved ones surrounding her than another 20 years of isolation. We have to, we have to do something about this, people. This is, this is getting out of control. This is really getting out of control. There is one way through, to get eternal life, and that's through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and there's no other way to the Father but by me. Jesus also said, ye must be born again. These are both in the book of John. Okay? So we talked about 100 years, okay? 100 years seems like a long time, but 100 years from now, we're all going to be gone. Everyone watching this video is going to be gone. For crying out loud, 100 years from now, no one will know who uh, the Beatles are anymore. Time changes. Time goes quick. God is eternal, okay? Let me give you an example of how eternity matches up with 100 years. This is an illustration I've always, always been taught. You get a pen. You go up to a wall. You put a dot on the wall. You, you, you poke the wall. Imagine that's 100 years, okay? Envision that dot on the wall to be 100 years. Then you take that same pen. You start on that dot, and you start circling the wall. And you circle the wall of that room. Say it's a square room. You keep going. You keep going. You keep going. Do that for 100 years. And in comparison to that dot which represents 100 years and you do that for 100 years physically that still doesn't compare to eternity so get your life right with jesus christ listen get your vaccines do what you need to do to protect yourself don't look down upon people who don't get vaccines etc because we're all in this together and um if i don't want to stand on the green line i don't want to stand on the green dot in walmart i don't want to stand on the green dot in walmart okay i'm not a selfish person but i see what's going on here our quality of life is being taken away it's it's getting preposterous so i say this with 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 good intentions so God bless, and um, thank you for watching the Extraordinary Variety Channel.